The bone density test is painless and quick, it estimates how dense or thick your bones are by using X-rays, the X-rays measure how much calcium and minerals are in a part of your bone, the more minerals you have, the better, which means your bones are stronger, denser, and less likely to break. For centuries, the study of biological processes has inspired fundamental mathematical developments, while mathematical analyses have been instrumental in developing a mechanistic understanding of biological observations, this fruitful cross-fertilization has gained momentum over recent decades, thanks in part to extraordinary technological advancements in the biological sciences, as well as the rising availability of large-scale computational resources. Smart cities are emerging as major engines for deploying intelligent systems to enhance urban development. In developing economies facing rapid urbanization and technological change, new cities are being built with smart technologies and ideals, complete with business districts and residential facilities to entice businesses and talents to relocate. Governments tout the potential of such greenfield smart cities for innovation and sustainability.
Lena's Belt and Road Initiative is enhancing development prospects and creating new business opportunities in Asia, one of the world's most dynamic regions. Announced in 2013, it is an ambitious plan to promote economic cooperation with countries around the world that has increasingly defined mainland China's global engagement. The official goals are to promote connectivity, policy coordination, facilities connectivity, unimpeded trade financial integration and people-to-people -people bonds. After a pandemic with major social and economic consequences, emerging and developing countries need to swiftly address a two-pronged policy objective, sovereign debt sustainability and being able to fund investment, especially investment with high economic and social returns. So far, the international community has alleviated the liquidity strain among developing countries and quickened the mobilization of financial resources. The findings of modern research support the view that the evolution of primitive men and its culture should be regarded as unity, yet this unity is exceedingly complex, and future research will doubtless enable us to make finer distinctions between the periods that people composed it.
Carbon is essential to life on Earth, but scientists still struggle to grasp its complexities. Most research to date has focused on major sources of the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide, and the use of fossil fuels. A new study has come to the counterintuitive conclusion that plants might accumulate more carbon in the presence of predators and herbivores. As technology keeps growing, political and economic leaders have utilized cinema in changing and shaping people's outlooks either for their own benefit or for the benefit of the people. Quality translations are also readily available and extremely affordable for everyone these days, which makes it easy for filmmakers to reach their target audiences from all corners of the world in their mother tongue. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for both men and women in the United States. While often thought of as one illness, heart disease is an umbrella term that covers a range of heart conditions. These include diseases of the blood vessels, including coronary artery disease and peripheral artery disease and so on.
when you take a deep whiff of your morning coffee, the smell of those fresh roasted beans darts into parts of the brain responsible for emotional and memory processing, but our other senses don't work in the same way, that's why smell can trigger a happy memory more quickly than touching the hot coffee mug or tasting that first sip. Until now, Mars has been generally considered a geologically dead planet. An international team of researchers led by Ed Zurich now reports that seismic signals indicate volcanism still plays an active role in shaping the Martian surface. People in their 20s and 30s who drink moderate to heavy amounts of alcohol may be more likely to have a stroke as young adults than people who drink low amounts or no alcohol. According to a study, the risk of stroke increased the more years people reported moderate or heavy drinking. <laughs> 